Hello, dear students of Third Prep. Uh, let's go to start uh, our episode today about uh, the exam of science, uh, and we have uh, yani, uh, many types of questions. As we have uh, two uh, terms, questions, unit one, our first term and second term at the same time. Uh, but uh, firstly, let's uh, welcome with Mr. Rasha Abdullah. How are you, Mr. Rasha? Uh, fine, thank you, Mr. Muhammad. Welcome, our dear student. Uh, we hope uh, all the best in the, this exam. And you must remember that we are going to make a revision on the first and the second term. Okay, let's begin, Mr. Muhammad. Okay. So here, uh, firstly, we should uh, know how can we answer the uh, questions, and we can find or pick the uh, answers from the question. First type of question, as we have here, choose the correct answer from the following statements زي ما احنا شايفين قدامنا بيقول لي the measuring unit of radiation absorbance is what rem joule ohm or ampere so here we have rem joule ohm or ampere so we have rem so the first answer here is rem because we talk about what we talk about the radiation absorbance uh, next question is uh, two uh, is a tall stem in pea plants is from what traits tall stem in pea plants is from what traits dominant recessive complementary number d all the previous as here we talk about what we talk about tall stem and we know how can we recognize or how can we differentiate between the uh, hereditary traits as we have dominant and recessive and here we talk about a tall stem so we have to say dominant uh, traits in pea plant specially question number three the red mercury oxide decomposing by heating into what mercury or oxygen or mercury oxide or a and b firstly here how can we answer we should remember the uh, chemical equation here we have mercury oxide as 2hgo it will decompose by heating as we see into 2hg as mercury plus o2 as oxygen so we have two results here or resultants as we have mercury and we have oxygen so the answer here is what is a and b together uh, next question is number d is a substance which speed up the chemical reaction without being changed طبعاً. here we talk about substance speed up the chemical reaction or uh, change the speed of chemical reaction so we have to answer as what as catalyst okay uh, so here dear students in the in, uh, in choose the correct answers uh, from uh, the uh, a or b and c here we have to pick the answer from the question uh, to answer according to taban and uh, at the same time we study well to answer uh, this type of question okay mr uh, miss uh, russia uh, you uh, have any question yes i'm okay. uh, going to uh, uh, pick uh, a type of question that's uh, <coughs> very common in the exams uh, which is the compare uh, if you know the comparison uh, between uh, the question you can answer uh, the complete the choose and the right or wrong uh, the first compare we have from the first term is a compare between uh, regular speed and uh, irregular speed in this comparison, you must uh, answer uh, number one uh, according to the definition and number two according to the rule. If we know that the regular speed definition is the object change equal distance in equal interval of time. Uh, what about the definition of irregular speed? It is the object change equal distance in unequal time or unequal distance in unequal in equal time. Okay, let's write it. Okay, number one, edge regular speed and irregular speed. According to the definition, number one, change object. Miss Russia, yeah, in the world, attach way. Okay, come in, Senna. Tamim, Tamim, Kita. Change object distance equal distance. in equal 
interval of time. Like what about the definition of irregular speed? Change distance unequal in a circle distance in equal interval of time or I can exchange here equal distance in unequal uh, interval of time right. the second comparison according to the rule how can we calculate the regular speed speed equal distance over time what about the irregular uh, speed rule it's called average speed and how can we calculate it we calculate it total distance over total time okay this is the <coughs> first comparison we have okay mr muhammad okay the next question okay uh, so here we have uh, as uh, give reason for how can we pick the answer from the question as we have uh, number one here learn to walk in children is not considered a genetic trait uh, learn to walk in children is not considered a genetic trait here w w what is meant by genetic trait genetic trait which means uh, hereditary trait يعني صفة وراثية طبعا هو بيقول not considered so we talk about the other type of the genetic trait as we have the acquired trait أقول له because what is meant by acquired trait أقول له it doesn't transfer from one generation to another ما بتتنقلش من جيل لجيل يعني we should uh, learn to uh, read walk draw speak something like that so here we talk about not considered a genetic trait or the hereditary trait so we talk about the acquired trait and here in this question we should answer by the definition of the acquired trait in this question we only red precipitate is formed on adding magnesium to copper sulfate solution here we have magnesium and we should remember the symbol of magnesium as mg plus copper sulfate cuso4 and we have here to know the simple substitution reaction depends on the chemical activity says as we have here copper and magnesium magnesium can replace copper in its compound so we have what and what we have two uh, compound or two uh, products here as we have magnesium sulfate MgSO4 plus what plus Cu as precipitated as copper so Hanabi Kalimni ala what the red precipitate so we can answer any question like that by using the chemical equation. Yani mukana go back to oh we can answer all magnesium but with names plus copper sulfate produce magnesium. sulfate plus copper and here we should write what copper or below red pre p t as red precipitate so here we answer what red precipitate in the question and red precipitate in the answer so we can remember the chemical equation to answer give reason what happens complete choose and so on um, okay, here, uh, dear students, uh, Miss Russia has uh, another uh, compare between two types as we have here. What and what, Miss Russia? Uh, we have a comparison between uh, distance and displacement. <coughs> uh, in this comparison, you also have to, uh, to answer with the definition and uh, what's meant by this physical quantity. Uh, you must cover all the points. Uh, 
the definition uh, for the distance, uh, it is the actual path done by the moving object. If the object move from A to B to C, so you are going to add AB plus BC. Now, what about the displacement? It is the shortest time between the starting point and the end point. So if the path ABC, the initial point is A and the final point is C. So the shortest straight line will be AC. There is another compare between them that distance is a uh, scalar physical quantity while displacement is a uh, vector uh, physical quantity. Uh, and this is another compare, but it includes in this one. The scalar needs magnitude only, we just write the number only, while the vector it needs magnitude and direction. Let's write this comparison. Number one, we write the definition. Uh, distance, actual, path, covered, by, moving, object. Actual length between two points. Or length, yes. Mm. What about the dis uh, displacement? It is shortest straight line between starting point and final one. The second comparison, the distance we uh, said that it is scalar and the displacement is vector. So what's meant by scalar? Needs magnitude only, just a number. While the vector needs magnitude and direction. Both of them having the uh, same uh, measuring unit, meter uh, or Sasha, kilometer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Both of them have the uh, same measuring unit, meter or kilometer. kilometer. Okay. okay. Uh, so here we know how can we uh, compare between uh, distance and displacement. Uh, both uh, have the same symbol. يعني ممكن نكتب D distance displacement, but displacement with D, uh, yes. Uh, yes. This is the simple also. We yes. didn't write it. Yes. Uh, so here, how can we uh, answer the next uh, question here? As we have give reason for by increasing the temperature. The speed of chemical reaction increase. هنا بنتكلم على speed of chemical reaction, speed of chemical reaction, and we talk about at the same time increasing in temperature. So, if temperature increase, if the surface area increase, okay, if the concentration increase, خلي بنا هنا the speed of chemical reaction increase. How can we answer this question? We have only one answer. Look, because number of collisions between molecules will increase. So, if we talk about again, if we talk about temperature or surface area as powder or uh, fillings or turning at the same time if we talk about concentration we have the only one answer due to the number of collision how collisions between the molecules of reactants will increase number four alternating current is preferred than direct current here this question is give reason for but at the same time uh, as a comparison because we uh, prefer alternating current y in this question so we write the advantages of the alternating current يعني هو بيقول لي انت ليه بتحب الالترنيتنج او you prefer to use alternating current اقول له هنا because اهو alternating current or ac number one number two and number three 
Number one has a variable in tenacity and what and direction. يعني ممكن أغير intensity بتاعته ممكن أغير direction. Number two that we talk about alternating current. Number two uh, can change or can be changed into direct current. Another option. Number three can transfer or can be transferred for a long distances so we know at the same time direct current has constant not variable in tennis and direction can't be changed into alternating current and the transfer for a short distances or can be transferred for a long distances so if you remember the uh, advantages or the options of alternating current we can also answer the direct current Number five, the only magnesium can replace copper in its uh, salt solution, while the opposite is impossible. Hena mekalem ala magnesium as Mg can replace copper. Hena khadna min shwaya hena in this uh, equation khadna hena. Hey, magnesium can replace copper, but copper can't replace magnesium. Okay. So we depend on what to recognize what can uh, uh, replace what. I'll look because magnesium is more active. What than what than copper in what in chemical activity series. The student must be sure that he study the uh, sequence of this uh, chemical activity. Yes, system. yes. So he can know what replace uh, yes. metal with what. <coughs> so, so we should remember how can we uh, recognize the elements or the sequence of the elements in the Very chemical important. activity series to know what can replace what or can't replace what. Uh, next question, Mumkin uh, Miss Russia. You have okay, any question? we are going to continue yes. our uh, comparison. Yes. Uh, it's a comparison between a real image and virtual image. Demi. Okay, uh, we start with the definition. Real image, it is the image can be received on a screen. How it is formed? It is formed. due to intersection of reflected if the image from the mirror or refracted if we are talking about the lenses rays so the intersection of the reflected if this image formed from the mirror or refracted <coughs> if it is formed from the uh, lens. The real image always um, uh, not uh, upright, inverted. inverted yes. The virtual image cannot be received on a screen. How it is formed? Due to intersection of extension, not the ray itself, but the extension of this ray. We should remember exten extensions. Extensions of uh, both reflected, if we talk about the mirror, yes. or a refracted uh, lens. Yes. Reflected or refracted rays. And don't forget that the virtual image always upright. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here, dear students, we can differentiate now between real and virtual image. نقدر نميز ما بينهم. Real image, especially, is uh, inverted or upside down, 
and at the same time the virtual image, image is upright or erect one of them can uh, taban receive on the screen the real, real image and uh, taban virtual image cannot. can't be received on a screen here we have give reason for زي ما احنا شايفين قدامنا بيقول number 8 بيقول burning a steel source in a jar filled with oxygen is faster than burning in atmospheric air طبعا here we talk about what we talk about the concentration بيقول لي steel burn in jar filled with oxygen so here we have only oxygen burn faster than burning in atmospheric air and atmospheric air also contains what contains oxygen but here we have only oxygen here only oxygen and here we have oxygen with other elements so we should remember we talk about the concentration so because the concentration of oxygen increase so the speed of reaction taban or chemical reaction will increase taban we remember the uh, four factors affecting the speed of chemical reaction okay uh, next one really what happens when heating of sodium nitrate we can answer by using what by using the chemical equation طبعاً, sodium nitrate we remember 2 na n o 3 burning which means triangle above the arrow so here we have sodium nitrite 2 na n o 2 plus what plus oxygen gas evolves but this answer is not enough so we should write the names and the colors as possible below the symbols يعني هكتب هنا sodium اهو nitrate and its color is white لازم اكتب colors as possible طبعا form what or change into what into sodium nitrite and its color is yellowish white طبعا uh, we remember here uh, the colors and at the same time here we write what oxygen and oxygen is colorless gas as we uh, studied before next question is what happens when putting a piece of sodium in okay uh, but we will answer this question uh, after this break then we will return back again welcome back dear students uh, let's go to complete our episode today where we have here uh, as a give uh, what happens no, sorry happen? uh, put a piece uh, or putting a piece of sodium in water we study uh, we studied uh, this question firstly in uh, first prep second prep third prep هنا هيقولي حط piece sodium in water we have sodium react with water producing hydrogen gas burn with capsule but we should answer by using what the chemical equation and we write the names or uh, the colors as possible below the chemical symbols or the chemical formula as we see here we only putting sodium in water هم كاتب كده بالظبط هقول 2Na plus 2H2O producing طبعاً sodium more active than hydrogen replace hydrogen producing sodium hydroxide 2NaOH plus H2 gas and we will write what هنكتب كده sodium water producing sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen and we uh, not uh, we will not write hydrogen only 
would not ha uh, write hi hydrogen only هنكتب hydrogen burns with pop sound هيفرقع طبعا uh, زي ما احنا عارفين okay uh, question 3 بيقولي exposing a man for a large dosage of radiation for a short time uh, we know we have uh, two uh, exposures here we uh, have uh, a large dosage for a short time and a small dosage for a short a, a long time يعني هنعكسهم مع بعض but here we have what we have large dosage طبعا for a short time in this case man will uh, expose in this case uh, طبعا هيحصل له ايه هقول له man will suffer from طبعا nausea diarrhea vertigo طبعا due to damage of spleen digestive system system and طبعا nervous system طبعا uh, also we have bone marrow تمام so we have many uh, many uh, symptoms here nausea diarrhea vertigo and we have the reasons of this symptoms uh, number four be only what happens chemical change of gene chemical change of gene we know each gene has a chemical structure this chemical structure depends on code this code will form another what another enzyme so this enzyme will form a special or a specific protein and this protein will form a specific trait فهو قال لي هنا the chemical change of gene يعني هو اتغير يبقى هقول له the same uh, sequence هقول له will form a different enzyme So it will enzyme gives different protein gives different protein. Okay, gives a different protein will give a different because we studied before the uh, chemical our uh, gene uh, chemically consists of DNA plus protein so the uh, structure of protein will change so here we have a different uh, trait تظهر صفة تانية احنا لازم نفتكر السيكونس ده كويس gene form a special or specific code this code will form a specific enzyme this enzyme will form a specific protein and this protein will form a specific trait uh, Ms. Rasha we have uh, another question yes we have uh, a very important uh, compare uh, most commonly uh, found in uh, all exams uh, it is a comparison between uh, short-sightedness and long-sightedness uh, this comparison include definition the position of the image format before or after the retina uh, how we can uh, correct and the reason or the cause of this disease okay so this comparison can uh, come in a form of give reason or what happened if uh, or a complete or choose it's very very important uh, comparison let's start with the definition what's meant by short sightness in the short sightness the person cannot cannot see the far object clearly but see the near object clearly uh, as we will uh, write uh, this uh, comparison we'll see that it is opposite to the uh, long sightness number one according to the definition see near object clearly 
طب what about far object far object not clear this according to the definition طب what about the reason why the person have a short sightness why he can see near object only not far object because he have two reason increase this is because or the reason because increase in eye diameter this is the first reason or increases in lens convexity this means that the lens is uh, too thick this is can uh, come as a give reason uh, why there is a short sightness and this is the two answers of them number three the image format here image format in front of retina طب, how can I collect this this uh, person must uh, uh, put an eyeglass the eyeglass uh, must concave uh, corrected by concave lens why concave lens so the image will form it on the retina Type. long sightness is opposite to the short sightness this will be the opposite of it senior object if, uh, opposite of it C for object clearly near object not clearly or distorted the reason decreases in eye diameter or decrease in lens convexity this means that the lens is too thin what about the image the image form it behind retina Tab, what's the treatment the person who have long sightness must put eyeglasses corrected by convex lens from this comparison we have number one the definition define short and long sightness number two the causes of short and long sightness uh, the position of the image and how uh, we can correct how uh, uh, the uh, person who have uh, near uh, short sightness uh, which eyeglasses must he wear okay again this is a very important comparison okay thank you Ms. Russia. Uh, so we'll complete uh, what happens when and Kamil Mabad what happens when here in this question we have heating of red mercury oxide. Taban we know red mercury oxide change by heating as we have Taban on two HG plus uh, uh, by heating two HG O by heating change into mercury two HG plus oxygen gas evolved. طبعا we write here what هنكتب red mercuric oxide and its special colors with names produce what mercury silver color silver color not silver silver color لونه فضي plus oxygen so we write or uh, we answer here the question as what happens when or ماذا يحدث فعرفنا by using the chemical equations هنا بيقول لي heating of blue copper hydroxide طبعا by using the chemical equation or the chemical action copper Cu طبعا uh, نكتبها بالبلو أحسن Cu OH by 2 copper hydroxide heating will produce what we know copper take only one oxygen and get rid of the rest so here we have cu o copper oxide 
plus H2O and we write what here نكتب هنا مع بعض copper hydroxide produce and its color is what is blue copper sulfate and the copper hydroxide their color are uh, colors are blue our color copper oxide and the copper oxide its color is what black. is black yes and here we will write what water vapor or water as you like water vapor but water vapor because here we have heating, heating. Uh, number two, the only pollination of pea plant flower, our peas flower, of hybrid yellow seeds with each other. We know yellow seed is a dominant trait, so we will uh, represent yellow seed by using a capital letter. But at the same time, we have hybrid, so we have capital with a small, as we have Y capital, Y small. So we have three steps in this question as parent. تمام؟ نكتبها تاني كده. Parent, gametes, and F1 as first generation. So both parents are what are Y capital Y small with Y capital Y small. The next step is the segregation. So we have Y capital. نفصلهم بعض بعض. Y small, Y capital, Y small. In the first generation, we have to as make a cross uh, or distribution between the two genes on the left side with the two genes on the right side. First with first one, then the first with second one, and the second with the first one, and the second with the second one. As you see like that, as distribution. Number one. Y capital, Y capital, then Y capital, Y small, then Y capital, Y small, then Y small with Y small. So we have what? We should write the ratio and the uh, trait. Let's make the ratio with sifa. So we have 3 to 1. Yellow seed, yellow seed, yellow seed, and here we have only one green seed, so we will write 3 yellow seeds to one green seed that's it we should remember the uh, dominant and recessive traits and especially in the dominant trait we should remember the uh, hybrid from pure okay Mr. Shah, you have another so, question yes as you uh, said that we have to know the difference between dominant trait and the recessive trait and this is my compare okay <laughs> good job <laughs> okay uh, the dominant trait uh, also according to the definition and <coughs> we must know uh, uh, the appearance of both of them in the first and the second generation the dominant trait what's meant by dominant trait it is the trait that appears 100 percent in first generation Type. What about the second generation? And 75% in second generation. Type. Is this trait may be uh, pure or hybrid? Uh, it may be pure or hybrid. Okay. Uh, here now, I have both of them uh, capital letters in the hybrid one capital letter and the other small letter. But what about the recessive? It is the trait that completely disappear. in first generation then it appear in the second generation and in second generation by ratio what 25 percent recessive trait always pure small letter 
it cannot appear unless the gene are both of them in capital letter. Okay? Okay. Uh, so now we can differentiate between the uh, dominant trait and the recessive trait. I can give example only about, yes. uh, about both of them. Uh, you, you? you may, you may uh, okay. give example. So we have uh, examples of dominant trait in human or uh, in pea plant? Both of them. Okay. Uh, in uh, pea plants, we should remember this, dominant uh, trait. problem, we have solved it. So that uh, green, we yellow. Yellow, yes. So we have dominant trait in uh, pea plant as yellow seed, tall stem, purple flower and uh, green uh, pod and at the same time we have smooth seed and smooth pod and at the same time we have uh, terminal uh, flower this is our uh, seven trait that Mendel uh, uh, makes his experiment on it. okay uh, on the other side we have the uh, in human and then if it insane wide eye curly hair uh, طبعاً dark eye uh, dark hair uh, and the uh, broad nose, uh, separate uh, ear uh, lobe, تمام. absence of freckles, uh, absence of freckles, and the rolling presence tongue. of dimples, تمام. اللي هي النغزات بنسموها. rolling tongue. تمام. طبعا. and ability to roll the tongue. so we have dominant and recessive traits in human at the same time. okay. here we have a problem about uh, the uh, physical properties of the electric current. as we see here, we have. Calculate the quantity of electric electricity passing in a conductor of resistance 1000 uh, 1, ohms for 30 minutes if the potential difference between ends 220 volts. Here we have given as resistance 1000 ohms. Time here is what? 30 minutes. If the potential difference between ends about 220 volts and we need to calculate what we need to calculate here the quantity of electricity yeah and an ice q type how come we know q we can calculate from two uh, uh, uh magic Oops. triangles or uh, two mathematical law we have v equal w over q or we have i equal q over t but here we have what? As a given, and then a taban potential difference magut. And at the same time we have the resistance. So we have R equal V over I. Sah? I need to calculate I. I equal what? V over R. V equal 220 over 1000. By using calculator, 0.22, I think, Yani. Over yes, 0 0.22. Tamam, 0 0.22. 0 0.22 what? 0 0.22 am, uh, ampere. Man in session measuring a unit. And here we know to calculate the quantity of electricity. And we have the time. So we can answer. We know from this magic triangle. So we need to use two mathematical uh, laws at the same time in the same problem. How do I equal Q over T? So Q equal what? We can't uh, know. We need to calculate. If a Q here for this problem, تمام? How do Q equal I times T? I equal what? I equal zero point. 22 okay. times time is 30 minutes, minutes yes. we should uh, change into or convert into seconds the student must be careful because ah. they didn't change the uh, didn't note the units ah, تمام. يبقى we should هنا, نحن, we All convert yes. uh, 30 minutes times 60 طبعا 1800 1800 seconds so quantity of electric uh, electricity is 0 0.22 times 1800 equal what equal 396 watt coulombs Coulomb. we should remember the Unit. measuring units okay next one is show the results of crossing between hybrid red flower pea plant and white flower 
in the first generation طبعا we remember in the red flower or the purple flower يعني in pea plant is dominant and dominant may be hybrid or pure but in this problem we have hybrid with what? with white flower طبعا hybrid ready by R capital R small and white flower is what? is R small R small because we remember the uh, recessive trait symbol comes from the dominant trait symbol but in a uh, طبعا uh, small letter طبعا هنشوف مع بعض هنا نشيل حاجة بس كده we have three steps طبعا number one parents number two gametes number three f1 or first generation so we have parent as r capital r small with r small r small and by segregate the genes r capital r small r small with r small by distribution the first with the first, the first with the second, then the first with the first here, and the second with the first, and the second with the second. Okay? You have R capital, R small, R capital, R small, then R small, R small, with R small, R small. So here we have what? We have red flower. with white. white flower two to two so one to one simplify so we have 50 percent here and 50 percent here and not from the ratio as we studied before and but don't forget to write the uh, percent because uh, we percent. always uh, the yes. forget to write it yes by percent or by ratio by and ratio. can write one to one yeah. yes. okay so here dear student we uh, dear students we should remember how can we deal with these types of questions as we remember how can we uh yani in ftikr, dominant trait and recessive trait with symbols i can know that's hot yani lazim niftikar dominant or recessive and uh, don't forget to write the recessive trait as the same letter from the dominant but in a small form okay uh, you have another question, Ms. Rasha? Yes, uh, okay. I have uh, also a comparison. comparison uh, I said in yes. the uh, beginning of this episode, I'm collecting uh, uh, the most common compa comparison in uh, the exams. Okay. Uh, but uh, this comparison can also uh, uh, come in a for another form of question, the uses of uh, the device or instrument. We have a meter and voltmeter. Uh, so we can ask the uses of a meter. Uh, it is used to measure the current intensity. Uh, and uh, the uses of uh, voltmeter uh, uh, measuring the potential difference and the electromotive force. But we can also uh, ask about the unit and the connection of these devices. Uh, a meter is connected in series while voltmeter is connected in parallel. The measuring unit of uh, a meter is ampere while the measuring unit of the voltmeter is uh, volt. Okay, let's write it. Uh, a meter it's device used to number one to measure current intensity what about the connection connected in series number three is simple circle letter a in a capital in the middle this is the symbol of the ammeter number four the measuring unit unit is ampere what about the voltmeter to <coughs> measure potential difference this is for a wire or emf this is for the battery okay uh, we must uh, mr muhammad uh, uh, mentioned the difference between the potential difference and the electromotive force of the battery yes okay yes. And here we have a problem you have okay mm -hmm. okay we are, uh, mr muhammad is going to illustrate it in uh, the next problem inshallah uh, but we'll say it quickly the potential difference for the wire while the electromotive force is uh, for the battery 
Yes. Uh, connection connected in parallel. A simple V in capital letter circle like this. Its unit is volt. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, as uh, Ms. Rasha said, uh, here we have a problem about uh, the connection of the electric cells to form an electromotive force of the battery. As we have, the, we remember the measuring unit of the electromotive force is volt, like the potential difference. But how can we differentiate between potential difference and electromotive force? Potential difference is a work done to transfer a quantity of a charge between the two points of conductor. But the electromotive force is what? Is the potential difference but between the two poles of electric cell or dry cell when the electric circuit is opened? Yes. How can we obtain electromotive force from a definite uh, number of the electric cells? As we have, uh, uh, we have here this problem, really we have uh, four similar cells. The electromotive force of each one is 1.5 volts. We should mark about our own number of cells. And then four cells. Each one has 1.5 volts. كل واحدة فيهم 1.5 volts. Explain by drawing how can we connect them to obtain battery of electromotive force equal number one. 1.5 volts. عايزهم كلهم يطلعوا لي 1.5. Number two, six volts. Number three, طلع لي three volts. خلي بنا. يعني number is 1.5 volts. 6 volts, 3 volts, and 4.5 volts. Okay? So, we have how many cells? We have 4. So, number 1. How is it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Each one has 1.5 volts. All are connected in parallel. Because in the connection of parallel, we connect them to obtain the minimum electromotive force um, inshallah I kunu 100 cells the electromotive force of these cells are the electromotive force of one e m f equal e1 if uh, all positive poles are connected together and on the other side we have all negative poles are connected together so we have electromotive force equal 1.5 uh, volts from the four batteries or the electric cells, we have to obtain six volts. Taban, in this uh, uh, point, we can connect them as in series because in series connection, the electromotive force equal what? Equal the summation of the electromotive force of each cell, or the uh, taban E1 times number. Each positive pole is connected with the next negative pole, and so on. Number three, we need to calculate or to obtain three volts. Number three, we have uh, two ways to obtain three volts. By two ways. Maybe we can connect two parallel like that with 1.5 volts. So here we have 1.5. And we con uh, connect another two electric cells parallel. So here we have 1.5 volts. So here we have what volts? We have three volts from the right side and from the left side. Type. We have another way to obtain three volts by another way. How come? Taban, as you see, three parallel with 1.5 volts as you see and one what one sees with 1.5 so here we have a oh, negative 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 so the electromotive force in this case equal how many equal three volts because the one point five plus one series. Plus a Ibahina Taban Mumkin Aw Mamil Keda Argatani Keda. Sorry. One as you see. Taban. 
طبعا on the other side هنبقى عندنا النيجاتيف بولز كلها اوكي okay. and beside them we will write one electric cell with 1.5 so here we have 3 volts by two ways if the number of electric cells are what or is 4 if the number of the electric cells are 3 or is 3 we have only one way here we have 4.5 volts we have only one way to connect them as we have two in series with what taban with 3 volts and what two in parallel with 1.5 volts so here we have what we have 4.5 because 3 plus 1.5 equal 4.5 volts we have many cases but I think these cases are the most important in our syllabus in this year uh, طبعا, uh, we have uh, some questions as give reason هنا طبعا دي give reason سهلة جدا uh, depends on uh, unit one in uh, first term the only car and of cars and the planes are provided with speedometer taban why taban to mm, taban speedometer low al dead yani iba to measure or to recognize the speed directly Number two, we only we say that an object moves with regular speed, as Miss uh, Russia explained. As how can we differ differentiate between regular and irregular? Regular speed covered equal distances at equal periods of time or intervals of time. Equal distances in equal intervals of time. Number three, it it is hard to measure the regular speed of the car practically. طبعاً عمر عربية can move with regular speed practically أو واقعيا يعني أقول له طبعا due to the traffic أو traffic motion حركة المرور Okay Mr. Shah, you have another comparison? Yes, I'm okay. going to uh, compare uh, in a lesson of uh, the universe. Yes, universe. We didn't uh, ask in this lesson uh, till now. Uh, the most important uh, question in this lesson uh, is the, the theory, uh, the three theories of the origin of the solar system. Yes. Uh, the comparison according to their name, yes. the founder uh, of them, mm. and the origin of the uh, solar system. Uh, we have uh, three theories. The, the first one called Napular theory. The founder uh, of it is called Laplace. Uh, the second theory uh, is uh, the crossing star. Uh, the, the scientists uh, called uh, Champel and Moulton. Uh, the third theory is uh, the modern theory of Alfred Hell or uh, Alfred Hoyle. Uh, the first theory, which is Napular theory, uh, suggests that the solar system originated from Napula. Type. What about the second theory? Uh, it suggests that the solar system originated from the sun. And the last one, which is modern theory, suggests that the solar system originated uh, from uh, a star rather than the sun. Yani another star, but it's not the sun. Let's write it according to the founder, Napular, Laplace, Crossing Star, Champlain and Moulton. The modern theory by Alfred Hale or Hoyle. Number two, Hina, uh, the Napular theory suggests that solar system originated from Napula. Crossing star. Solar system originated from the sun. From the sun, yes. A modern uh, theory from a star rather than sun, yani not the sun. Mm. Okay. 
This is uh, the lesson of the universe, the most important three theories about the origin <coughs> of the solar system. Yes. Uh, here we have another uh, question as we have uh, uh, phys uh, physicists uh, use mathematical relation as uh, like graphs and the uh, tables. Taban, why we use graphs, why we use tables sometimes in uh, science, especially in physics? Tamam. Why? Taban, we have many reasons, but here in this question we can write only two reasons as we see here. Zay ma shifino dem na biuli physicists use mathematical relation like graphs and tables. Why? Taban ha ullu to indicate the relation between the physical quantities. We need to know the relation, a, a relation directly proportional or inversely proportional, something like that, increase, decrease, and so on. Number two, we use uh, these graphs and tables to dis, uh, describe the physical quantities in easy way. In easy way as uh, distance uh, or uh, acceleration or speed and so on. So, we indicate the relation between physical quantities and we describe the physical quantities in easy way. Number five, when the driver uses the car brakes, we say that is decelerating motion. So, what is meant by decelerating motion? Which means the speed of the object decreases or negative acceleration. Which means what? The final speed less than initial speed. شفتوا قلناها بكم طريقة بتلاتة. يبقى we answer هقول له because the speed decreases through the time. As final speed v2 طبعا هتبقى less than initial speed v1. طبعا هنا less than which means ان ال final initial speed greater than final speed which mean uh, which means this uh, acceleration is negative acceleration. Next question be only the body which moves with acceleration never moves at regular motion. Taban regular motion hena which means regular speed. Libium ship acceleration may be at with regular motion. Taban the answer ullu because the body's speed change through the time. Taban we answer according to what? Taban according to acceleration. What is meant by acceleration? Change in speed as time passes out uh, through one second. Uh, next one, be only it said the body moves with uniform acceleration. Be only in Hoa moves with uniform acceleration. We have uniform and non uniform acceleration. All because the body's speed change with equal values. Taban through an equal intervals of time. Or Taban uh get a kalim ala non uniform or regular taban khali wahda minum equal with tanya unequal. next question be only the speed time graphs for an object uh, which moves with uniform speed is a straight line parallel to time axis. Khaliban L E L speed time graph. So we talk about acceleration. Hmm? Moves with uniform speed is a straight line parallel to time axis. So the speed doesn't change because here we have um, speed time and at the same time have a straight line parallel or parallel to the time axis. So I'll look in this uh, answer I'll look because speed doesn't change. Like speed of uh, moon around the earth. مثلا. Mass and time are scalar physical quantities. Hena we kalim ala scalar and vector. Taban hena we know what how can differentiate. Taban as Miss Russia explained in the beginning of this episode. Taban only because they identify with magnitude only, and we know magnitude is a number with measuring units. Okay, Miss Russia, you have another question. Uh, yes, mm. uh, uh, Mr. Muhammad mm. have asked uh, about the. Uh, effects of uh, radiation uh, for uh, a short uh, period of time, large doses. Uh, now we are going to uh, say a long uh, period of time of with uh, short doses. This gives uh, three effects. Physical effect, which change in the appearance, and cellular effect and genetic effect. Uh, I have a comparison between the genetic and the cellular effect. 
the cellular effect change in the uh, cell composition. Example of changing uh, of this that the red blood cells cannot be able to uh, carry in oxygen as the hemoglobin in its uh, structure change. Now, what about the genetic uh, effects or why the genetic effects happened due to the change in the sex chromosome giving abnormal birth? Okay, let's write it there to comparison. Okay, number one, cellular effect change in cell composition. Example, red blood cell can't carry oxygen, which is its function to carry oxygen, due to change in hemoglobin. And this is can... Uh, uh, have a f another form of question as a give reason. But what about the genetic effects? The change in sex chromosome giving abnormal birth. And we also have another effect, the physical, which uh, make a change in the appearance. Okay, Mr. Muhammad. Okay. Uh, so uh, here we have um, another type of questions as what happens when chemistry, we only adding a piece of aluminum or aluminum to hydrochloric acid solution. Here we can answer by using the chemical equation. We will write what? 2Al as aluminium with hydrochloric acid as 6HCl producing what? This uh, chemical uh, reaction depends on the uh, simple substitution reaction as aluminium can replace hydrogen and forming 2Al Cl3 why? Because here we have 6 chlorine and here we have 2 times 3 equal 6 chlorine okay you have aluminium chloride plus hydrogen gas and the chemical formula of hydrogen is H2 but how many hydrogen here we have 6 hydrogen so we write 3 H2 this answer is not enough because we answer here by our according to what happens names as and color as possible so aluminium plus hydrochloric acid forming aluminium chloride plus what plus hydrogen this hydrogen is effervescence effervescence which means okay in a moment you only give reason for the formation of effervescence on adding aluminium to hydrochloric acid the same chemical equation below hydrogen is is as effervescence uh, number four, increasing what happens? Increasing the conductor length concerning the electrical resistance value. We only want to increase the length of, con uh, of conductor. It's uh, silk, yeah. Concerning the electrical resistance value. We want to tell you what happens the electric uh, resistance value. Of we know as rheostat, which is variable resistance, not the constant resistance. We have a difference between الفاريبل الفاريبل اللي هي ريوستات اللي هي بتتغير واه اللي هي الفاريبل حاجه والفيكسد ريزيستنس اه الفيكسد ريزيستنس والفاريبل ريزيستنس او اور ريوستات تمام ريوستات طبعا الريوستات ديبندز اون ذا لينث اوف ذا واير اف وي انكريز ذا لينث اوف ذا واير ذا الكتريك ريزيستنس ويل انكريز سو ذا الكتريك كارنت انتنسيتي ويل ديكريز 
طبيعي ان انا لما اطول طول السلك اكيد الريزيستنس ويل انكريز اكن حد بيمشي في طريق طويل هيتعب يبقى if the length of the electric wire or the conductor increase the electric resistance will increase so the current intensity القوة بتاعت الكهرباء هتقل will decrease so هنا في الكويستشن بيقول لي increasing the conductor لو انا زودت conductor length concerning the electric resistance value اقول له the electric Resistance will increase. Okay. Problem be only by using the three electric cells. طب أنا إحنا جابنا واحدة زيها عشان نجاب أسئلة تانية. بيقولي correct the underlying words. Double substitution reaction depends on the exchange between molecules to form a new compound. طبعا هنا not molecules. Double substitution reaction depends on Exchange between ions. Exchange between ions to form a new compound. White eyes are from the recessive trait, you know, traits in the human uh, race. Taban, not recessive. We have taban, dominant. Number three, DNA consists of a small units called enzymes. Taban, we know DNA consists of small units called Nucleotides. Uh, number uh, four, a direct current has variable current intensity and direction. Taban. Direct current has constant or fixed septa. Current intensity and direction. Okay, Miss Sasha, you have another comparison? Okay, yes, okay. about uh, the direct and alternating current. Uh, we have uh, a question of uh, the give reason, Mr. Muhammad said it, that uh, why uh, the alternating is uh, preferable, and this is uh, was a one point uh, from the property. In this comparison, we uh, will uh, mention the rest of the property between the alternating and the direct current according to the source. Uh, the direct current source is uh, the battery or the dry cell where the chemical energy changed to uh, electric energy uh, while the alternating according to the source is the dynamo or electric generator kinetic energy changed to electric energy uh, as uh, mr muhammad said that the alternating uh, uh, variable in intensity and direction uh, can travel for a long distance and can be changed to direct current and that's why it is preferable while the direct current cannot be changed to alternating and uh, cannot travel for uh, long distance um, and the uses of both of them are different let's th uh, see uh, the difference uh, of uh, both of them uh, uh, and write it number one according to the source direct current from dry cell or battery where chemical energy change to electric this is according to the source the direct current constant or fixed direction and intensity cannot be changed to AC. The graphical representation represents like this, parallel to the x-axis because it is constant. Uh, T or I? طبعا. Yes. What about the uses? In electroplating, and some appliances not all of them like the remote and so on the last comparison travel short distance only okay. what about the alternating the same according to the source 
نمبر 1 الكتريك جنريتر which we call it dynamo kinetic energy converted to electric variable direction and intensity can be changed and this is why it is preferable to direct the graphical representation is alternating time and intensity used in lightning houses school hospitals everything and appliances Factories, machines, and so yes, on. Yes, a heavy one. While the direct is just a small, uh, like a remote and yes. toys travel long distance. So the comparison include the source, uh, the property uh, uh, can be changed or cannot be changed uh, and the direction and this uh, another question as Mr. Muhammad said why alternating is preferable. Okay, Mr. Muhammad, next question. Okay, next question is compa compare. How can we compare here between uh, ionic and covalent compounds uh, according to the speed of chemical reaction? We know ionic compound is faster than covalent compound طبعاً, in the uh, chemical reaction or the speed of chemical reaction. Taban ionic compound and the covalent compound. Hena, ionic compound faster. Covalent compound slower. Tab, why? Ionic compound faster because the reaction between ions the reaction between ions انما الكوفالنت كومباوند تبقى سلور اقول له طبعا هنا بيكوز ذا رياكشن بيتوين مولكيولز طبعا وي نو هاو كان وي ديفرنشيت بيتوين ايونز and uh, molecules, طبعا covalent compound depends on uh, sharing between uh, atoms in the number of electrons طبعا انما ionic compound depends on the electrostatic attraction force طبعا electrostatic attraction force uh, easy to uh, separate or to break, uh, uh, to break down عشان كده ionic compound faster than covalent compound uh, طبعا next question بيقولي write the scientific term uh, is a part of DNA exists on the chromosome and control the hereditary traits طبعا part of DNA exists on the chromosome طبعا we know gene consists of DNA plus protein هنا بيقولي part of DNA طبعا we talk about gene because gene what control the hereditary traits طبعا we know by forming a special protein, this protein will form a special trait. It is the arranging of metals in descending order according to their chemical activity. Taban, we know this definition from second prep. Naftani adadi, naftani ftalta adadi. Taban hena chemical activity. Number three, we only it is the potential difference between two poles of a battery when the electric circuit is opened. We only it is a potential difference between two poles of a battery when the electric circuit is opened. Taban haollo, yes, the or balaj the haliha electromotive force. Okay, Ms. Sasha, you have another question? Yes, I have a comparison. Compare, yes. Uh, yes, uh, but this comparison have uh, 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 two definitions. 
uh, it is a comparison between oxidation and reduction. Uh, we can uh, set the difference between oxidation and reduction according to the percent of oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, and we also can uh, make a comparison between the oxidation and the reduction according to losing or gaining electron. So they have two definitions. Okay? Uh, uh, starting by uh, increasing and decreasing uh, oxygen percent, the oxidation will be increases, increasing oxygen percent or decreasing hydrogen percent. The second definition losing an electron or more. Reduction will be opposite to the oxidation, decreasing oxygen percent or increasing hydrogen percent. The second definition, gaining an electron or more. This type of uh, chemical reaction have only two uh, equation in uh, our uh, school book. Uh, the, uh, according to uh, oxygen percent is uh, copper oxide with hydrogen and according to electron is sodium with chloride. There are two only two uh, equation about them in the school book. Okay. okay? Uh, so here we have uh, uh, another uh, question or another type of uh, questions here. Taban uh, Bioli complete uh, the uh, following statements. Bioli Mg plus CuSO4. Taban, we uh, answer this uh, equation in a different type of question as give reason or what happens. Taban, we have Mg SO4 because magnesium is more active than copper and can replace copper plus see you as copper here as a red or reddish brown precipitate number two is a map contains all human chromosomes Taban, uh, we know this map is called what is called genome Taban, genome is a map contains all human chromosomes خريطه يعني الكل كروموزومز ان ذا هيومن Number three is a device used to control the potential difference and the current intensity. This device used to control potential difference and used to control current intensity. So this device is related to R because V over I is R. So this device is what is real state. Number two. Our oh, number four, sorry, really two and NaNO3. Taban, we know this sodium nitrate will decompose by heating into two NaNO2 as sodium nitrite plus oxygen gas evolve. So these questions come many times with different forms. Okay, Ms. Sasha, you have another question? Yes, uh, uh, about mitosis and meiosis division. Yes. Uh, we haven't said uh, much about them in uh, this episode. Uh, we are going to make comparison about the site of both of them, where this uh, happened and where the meiosis happened, uh, the uh, aim of uh, both division and the net result of both of them. Uh, the uh, mitosis happened in the somatic cell. And what's the somatic cell? It is the cell that found in all body except reproductive organ, which have complete number of chromosome 2N. The meiosis happened in uh, the reproductive cell, which have haploid or have the half number of chromosome. Top. Why the cell undergo mitosis uh, to compensate the damage or for growth? In order to grow or compens compensate the damaged cell, uh, the cell undergo uh, mitosis. Top. Why uh, the cell undergo uh, meiosis for reproduction of gamete? Uh, 
the gamete implant we call it pollen grain and ova in human we call it sperm and ova but the end result of both of them uh, mitosis gives four cell having complete number of chromosome diploid uh, uh, this is the meiosis uh, four cell uh, half number of uh, chromosomes haploid why the mitosis uh, to a cell with complete number of chromosomes. Let's uh, write it down. Number one, mitosis in somatic cell. Ms. Rasha, keep it down, please. Yes. يبقى عندي المايتوزيس ان سوماتيك سيل الريزون او واي ات اندرجو مايتوزيس تو كومبنسيت دامج اند فور جروث سو هير وي توك اباوت ذا مايتوزيس اور مايتوتيك سيل ديفيجن يس اوكي اند ذيس كان كام از ذا ريزون اوف ذيم جيف ريزون مايتوزيس از امبورتنت Number three, it happened in one step. Number four, the end result gives two identical cells, complete number of chromosomes. Which means deployed. Yes, deployed. Tamam. Okay. Okay. What about the uh, meiosis? It happened in reproductive cell. In reproductive cell. Here, give reason why the meiosis is important or uh, uh, the uh, aim of meiosis. Producing gametes. Example: sperm over pollen grain in plant. The meiosis, uh, two steps or two phases: meiosis one and meiosis two. Number four gives four cells, half number of chromosome. We call it haplot. Yes. Okay. Uh, here we have another uh, uh, questions or as give reason for, and then as give reason for about uh, unit one in uh, first term uh, as we talk about velocity speed acceleration physical uh, quantities uh, types of uh, them we only in fact this question only velocity and force are vector uh, physical quantities taban we know why taban because they identify with magnitude and direction uh, next question uh, number 11 the body which moves in a straight line, its displacement equal its distance. خلي بالنا بيقولي ال body which moves in a straight line ماشي في خط مستقيم. In this case only, its distance equal its displacement. طبعا ممكن we can write by many ways يعني طبعا هقوله because in this case في الحالة دي بس the distance equal the shortest. Straight line between two points. We write the definition of displacement, but on what? On the distance, only in this case. Number 12, be only the amount of fuel by a plane are different according to the wind direction. Because when the plane flies against wind direction طبعا will consume more fuel طبعا تستهلك وقود اكتر if it uh, flies against wind direction 
هير وي هاف بيقول لي جيف ريزن فور بيقول لي ابييرنس اوف بلاك بريسيبيتيت اون هيتينج ا جرين كوبر كاربونيت طبعا وي ريمبر هاو كان وي انسر ذيس تايبس اوف كويستشنز از وي هاف جرين كوبر كاربونيت سي يو اس سي او 3 as copper carbonate طبعا by heating will form CuO as copper oxide plus CO2 طبعا here we will write what names and colors how to copper carbonate green green produce copper oxide and its color is what is black don't forget because how is any about the black precipitate is formed by heating a green copper carbonate طبعا here we have carbon dioxide and we know carbon dioxide uh, turns uh, lime water into milky or turbid okay miss Russia you have a Another question? Yes, uh, also about uh, 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 sexual and asexual reproduction. Yes. Comparison between both of them. Uh, we know that in sexual reproduction, it uh, requires two parents. Uh, and it uh, formed in two steps. Uh, the step number one, formation of gamete. Then number two is fertilization. The result of uh, sexual reproduction uh, gives genetic variation. This means that the offspring different from the uh, parent as it's come from meiosis division type. What about asexual reproduction? It requires only one parent by mitosis, so the offspring is identical to the parent uh, because it's come from mitosis division. Okay, let's write it. Sexual reproduction. One parents, one parent only of spring different as it comes by meiosis division step number one formation of gamete Step number two, fertilization. Let's see what's uh, a sexual reproduction. Uh, here are two parents. A sexual reproduction, one parent. Boy, mitosis. In an offspring, identical, no variation. Example, reproduction by budding. A starfish as regeneration. And by spores. This all types of asexual reproduction okay so here dear students we can differentiate between sexual and asexual reproduction according to uh, different uh, uh, points uh, طبعا, uh, by how many parents and the uh, products from each one of them here we have another type or another uh, question as give reason for be only by increasing the electric resistance of a conductor the electric current intensity inc decrease طبعا here we know the relation between the electric resistance and the electric current intensity as we have R equal V over I. So the relation between the electric resistance and electric current intensity is inversely proportional which means each one, uh, if one of them increase the other will decrease. طبعا هنا we uh, depend on uh, the electric resistance to identify أو to calculate the potential difference and the current interest أو control them يعني أو because electric resistance 
is inversely proportional with current intensity. طبعا here between V and R are directly proportional. If the electric resistance increases, the potential difference will increase. Uh, next question, the only modification of the genetic structure in rice plant. طبعا we know rice plant uh, has or contains uh, pro-vitamin A. This pro-vitamin A can change into vitamin A to avoid loss of uh, sight. طبعا هنا يبقى modification of the genetic structure of rice plant. هقول له to make pro vitamin A change into vitamin A to avoid loss of سايت اللي هو طبعا فقدان النظر الشديد اللي هو بيوصل لدرجة شبه العمى يعني طبعا uh, we will end this episode uh, today uh, طبعا I hope dear students in your exam read the question more than one time more than one time and uh, as we see here we can pick the answer from the question by compare give reason what happens complete and so on uh, thanks a lot uh, Mrs. Russia for your effort in this episode. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Muhammad. Uh, my best wishes to all uh, our students. And please be careful, write the rule, uh, check uh, the units, uh, and uh, good luck. Good luck, okay. Thank you, dear students. Good luck and good